This is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome back to Comic Book Pickups. And today will be DC, then Marvel, and then Indies. So, let's get started. First up from, well, Division of Image Comics. And by the way, um, make sure, of course, you thumbs up this video, like, subscribe. Follow at twitter.com slash gokusundbz as well as at googleplus.com slash gokusundbz. Sorry, I felt just wanted to do that. <clears throat> that way, when I get done, I'm done. But, yes, we have from Virgo Comics, which is the Division DC, issue number six for the new Lucifer series, which is actually quite interesting, and I do kind of like the style and artwork of it. Next from DC Comics, everybody here DC, is Injustice Gods Among Us, issue number 10, year 5. And of course there we see Superman obviously fighting Doomsday, in the background we see Lex Luthor. Yep, which looks interesting. Actually, no, I take that back. Superman's right there on the ground. That's Bizarro fighting him. So Bizarro versus Doomsday should be interesting. And last, a special collaboration between Hanna-Barbera and... DC. It's called Future Quest. And as we see on the front here, we have characters from Johnny Quest, which, if none of you have ever watched the original 90s remake of Johnny Quest, seriously, check it out. It's a pretty good animated series. And collaboration with Space Ghost. Because you all from the 90s remember Space Ghost Coast to Coast on the Midnight Run before the creation of, of course, a little something called Adult Swim. And I'll be honest, Space Ghost is awesome. I even watched like reruns and stuff of the 70s series. Same thing on Giant Quest. Both really great animated shows, and seriously, check out this comic, and I may have to do a review in the near future for this very special comic book. Next up is for Marvel, and back issue, because I didn't get it last week, to make sure I get both. Of course, I normally don't catch, uh, <clears throat> collect Spider-Woman or Silk, but since it has that special crossover thing going on, which is Spider Women. And there we see a baby because Spider Woman had a child. And of course, we have Silk on the front of the other one. Issues number seven and eight of the special crossover event. Which I can't wait to start reading these because it's been a really interesting crossover between these two and Spider Gwen. <clears throat> Next up is issue number three for International Iron Man, which is, of course, supposed to be a similar tone to, like, uh, James Bond, but Iron Man instead, with the similar spy tone, which is actually kind of cool, I might add. Next up is issue number six for Spidey. Which, by the way, is really awesome, and I love because they make it feel like 80s and 90s Spider-Man. The overall art design and look, and even putting the characters' faces on the side here. With, obviously, the date, rating, issue number, and everything. It definitely does harken back to the 80s and 90s style of like Spider-Man comics, and that's actually why I love the Spidey series so much. It's for those of us who grew up in the 80s and 90s, and it really harkens back to that time when we first started getting into Spider-Man comics, because it was the first comics I ever read. And last, special event. 
Issue number zero for <clears throat> Civil War 2. That's right, now there's a new Civil War going on. And the leader of the new Civil War on one side, once again, is Iron Man, of course. But on the other side, the leader against Iron Man, instead of being Captain America like the first time, it is Captain Marvel is the opposer to Iron Man this time. Of course, we see in the background War Machine, and we have a couple of other characters, but honestly, I can't wait to read this, because it looks like it's going to be really cool. But look at some of the artwork design. It's actually quite beautiful, as you can see. But, can't wait to do a possible review in the near future for that. Next, second to last, is two special versions. Well, the normal issue for the new Spawn issue. 263 and a special version, which you only get, they only get this special variant one in like, was it like one in five? The comic book store has to order five normal issues to get one of these. Yeah. But it's worth it. I love the whole black and white look and stuff. And yeah, as you know, I'm a big spawn person, so I had to say yes to my buddy, owner of Purple Earth Comic Store here in Huntington, West Virginia. Awesome place Purple, Purple Earth is. And last but not least, a very special final comic just came out. Issue number six for Street Fighter Unlimited. Issue number six. So get ready for the new issue of Street Fighter. So get ready and fight! Just saying. Anyways, see you next time here in YouTube land and hopefully see you again soon enough. And I'm probably going to be trying to get this review done this week. Well, in the next three days, I'm going to try my best to get this reviewed in. Of course, also the third issue of the crossover of Street Fighter G.I. Joe. So stay tuned for that, too. And sorry about the light and sunshine's going back and forth. Clouds. Anywho, see y'all next time here again in YouTube land.